Hey everyone, it's Trader Rob. Today is Friday, May 10th, final day of the trading week. Looking forward to a strong session here, keeping those morning strategies hot, red hot as, they've, as they have been here all of May. And uh, obviously looking forward to the weekend, going into another trading week for next week. Let's see what we can get here today, right after the intro. As always, nothing that I state on my channel is financial advice, trading futures, or any type of trading is risky business. Any capital that is put out there is at risk for loss. All right, as I stated, uh, morning strategies have been red hot um, here in May, which is great. Let's take a look at our trades from yesterday, uh, starting off in gold. Gold, we got a um, an activation to go long based on the 815, 820 uh, inside bar candle close. We got, again, activated to the long. If you put your stop loss to the bottom of our source, it was 40 ticks. So anything 40 ticks and above, I automatically reduce it to 35. I call it a max size trade. And this went for full take profit, 35 ticks. Beautiful trade in gold. And in oil, both sessions in oil one session one had their uh, activation based off the 845 850 inside bar we get activated to the long 11 ticks of profit nice trade there oil session one oil session two also a winner uh inside bar right off this candle at 9 10 9 15 close got activated into the short 15 ticks beautiful trade in uh, in oil session two, made $500 yesterday on the eval based off of gold and oil session two. So this eval currently sits at $51,053. Um, so that's $1,053 out of the $3,000 gold that we need to hit there. Um, top step as far as my levels are concerned. Took a really, really nice trade on the ES, made a video on that one yesterday. Um, not really looking too much to trade the YM here. Uh, big gap down. We've got a strong level above us at 39.733. Actually, I feel like this and on the ES have some very strong levels um, where if, even though I don't really see a five minute level um, above it, maybe a very decent trading opportunity just off of this level. Um, be a pretty strong move here, but 39.733, that's something to look out for. You got another level at 39.664 and below price action, 39.603. Uh, if we take a look at the NQ, the NQ has a level above us, a 15 minute level, very strong level, same as the ES and the uh, YM at 18.342. Big gap um, here. I believe this is still FOMC gap that we still have not filled up here. So just be careful trading in this in this area right here. You've got a strong level below you at 18,245. We actually have another level that came in right here um, on the five minute at 18,299. Um, and again, another level below us at 18,223. Looking at the ES. The ES does have some trading opportunities here this morning. Uh, we've got a strong level at 52.44 with a five minute level above it at 52.47. Um, another strong 15 minute level right below it at 52.41. Again, this is the kind of setup that I'm really looking for. We get a retracement down to, um, to 52.44, looking for a move right back up to this uh, five minute level. And then you've got a clear stop loss right below 5241. Above it, we do have this FOMC gap that's still here. So just be very careful not to be trading in here. But again, a very strong level above it, 5272. And you got a five minute level at 5271. I would probably take my trade sh to go short off of the 5271 stop loss right at past the 5272. So these are the two setups that I'm looking for this morning on the ES. Hopefully we get some good trading opportunities here. Stick around for my trades that are coming up in the next few minutes, um, and then stick around for the recap at the end of the day. Order fill, order canceled.
All right, and here is our first trade of the morning. This is in gold. Um, we do get activated here into the long based off of that green inside bar. Um, now, if we put our, uh, that black down bar is our source bar. So it, if, you, if we put our stop loss to the bottom of that candle, it's more than 40 ticks. So at that point, I reduce my risk to 35 points and I'm also looking for a take profit of 35 points. Um, yesterday we had a max size trade for a winner in gold and I was really hoping that we can get a, another winner um, max size here this morning. I do know that uh, this is probably going to be my only trade of the morning because I, um, I have an appointment coming up and I, can, I, I just can't be in front of the charts. So based off of that initial momentum outside of that inside bar, which is exactly what it is that we're looking for on this strategy, um, now I'm able to reduce my risk in half. So I believe I was risking here about $180, $80 or 18 ticks to make uh, $350 or 35 ticks. So now, I mean, right there, we almost, I mean, we almost nailed our take profit. Um, I think we came about a tick short. And again, you can get, you know, it's, it's nerve wracking. You can start thinking, oh no, what is if price action is going to, you know, reverse on me and knock me out. Um, you just really got to you got to stick into the finality of these trades one way or the other for the good or the bad today It was for the good beautiful trade in gold max size $350 profit. This is a beautiful trade. We get a final push from buyers here full take profit Target filled Man just another banger of a day these morning strategies are just on fire. All three won today. All three sessions. Yesterday, all three sessions won. Oh, and of course, wasn't able to trade oil session two. Oh, work. That damn job just always gets in the way. I'm joking. I love my, I love my job pays all my bills um, but it uh, it hurts seeing your trades go in go in your direction and you not being able to to get into them uh, I'm actually even more upset about a levels trade that I missed here today I'm gonna start with that one because obviously if you guys have been watching the video from the beginning um, I start recording at about 7.50, so right about here, okay? And if you guys remember, I said the only two setups I'm looking for on the ES would be a, um, a move up to this line up here and a retracement down or a bounce down. You had a nice little, you had a nice 15-minute uh, level above it, so that was a pretty strong level. Or I said the next best trade would be a retracement down to this 15 minute level and you had another 15 minute level right below you that you can use as a stop loss and just target this five minute um, area or level that I mapped out already this morning. Very simple trade. What did, what did price action do? Tapped right into this line, came right up to this line, would have been a very very easy trade small trade but it would have been a very easy trade uh, probably would have captured at least two to two hundred and fifty dollars on this trade but I was at work um, I was not able to trade oil session two I left here at about nine o'clock in the morning and I think this hit at this hit at 9 25 in the morning so it was a little bit unfortunate but Hey, it is what it is. Uh, I think there was also a good setup. Let's take a look at the YM. Uh, YM, the only thing I liked was I knew that this was a strong level up here, but this is all gap. Don't like to trade that. Um, also had a question in Discord. Let me just pull back the ES chart here really quick. Um, I do not trade this area. 
So this I just map out because this is just a gap and this tells me that even if I get a five minute level here, which we did, we would have gotten a level right here. I don't trade that because this might want to fill this gap. This might want price action. It's just there's there's not much price action to the left here. It was a straight shot and I believe that was still FOMC. Um, so let's go back to the YM so we can finish that chart. Uh, really no trade setup here whatsoever. Uh, this is the only thing that I thought was even somewhat decent. But again, no, I, I didn't really have a clear stop loss above it. So this would have never been a trade that I would have taken. Um, and the NQ, look at this guy. This guy I definitely mapped out. And I said that this was a strong level. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I take that back on the YM. Yes, I said that there was not a five minute level above it, but it was a very, very strong 15 minute level, very fresh level, hadn't been tapped into at all. And this would have been right to there. I'm um, not sure how many points that is. Uh, it looks like it's 43 point move right there. So, I mean, then look down here. This was my, look at this range, right in between these two boxes. I mean, this is all tradable. This is all very, very tradable. So, didn't take any trades today on the levels, which I know. It is what it is. Was able to take gold. Gold max, max size trade, baby. 35 ticks, $350 profit on that. Took that in cash. Uh, which was fantastic. And uh, obviously we got activated into the long here based off the 805, 810 close candle, full take profit. Uh, oil, oil session one, um, activated on the 840, 845 inside bar, that orange bar right there, got activated into the short, full take profit, 16 ticks. Um, inside bar for session two, 9.15. This is a trade that I would have taken if I would have not been at work. Uh, went for 19 ticks or $190. So just some fantastic trading there. Um, no trades in the Rob reversal. Uh, a few setups here. Obviously, two to go long. They both close below the ADMA and no setups. So no setups whatsoever on the Rob reversal. So add another 350, I would say that this eval is probably up 14 or 14 and $1,450. Um, so we're doing pretty good on that one. And feeling really good going into the weekend. Cash accounts up, evals up, missed a few trades today, but that's just the way it goes. Um, I just wanna let you guys know I'm gonna be live again next Wednesday the 15th, uh, same time, 8 o'clock, so 8 o'clock in the morning central time. I will be live. If you guys want to join me, that would be awesome. You guys can see how I map my levels, how we trade the morning strategies. Uh, give me any questions you have. I think we've been having a pretty good time going live, so that's where that stands. I am... Um, I'm going to be coaching some travel softball tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. Got a busy weekend with showings, uh, kids' games, and then looking forward to seeing everybody on Monday. All right, everyone. Happy trading.